So this is Samaritan building. It's the latest opening in Paris. It's actually a very old department store in a very central Paris. It has it's almost entire district. The first building in Art Deco style towards Seine. Then it's Art Nouveau building. And this is behind me. It's a new addition with the contemporary facade done by Japanese architects. So what is interesting to say that it has hotel, it has a commercial store, it has a even spa, restaurants, and what is the most interesting, a big part of a social housing. Because to make a project like this for the private client in a historical center of Paris, you have to give something to the city so that the city can also benefit. In this case, it's almost a hundred units of a social housing. And for us, we can enjoy the plaza in front of it. So this is example of private architecture changing the look of Paris. It originally was a department store, started from this building, then expanded to the building in front and basically grow an entire district. In 2001, it was bought by LVMH Group, Louis Vuitton Group and being closed for renovation and now again open so you can see its entire district <laughs> almost a district which belongs to um, Louis Vuitton group and in front of it it's a hot quarter and this new plaza which is also open so you can see all the styles which were renovated and uh, towards Rivoli a new building which were commissioned to Japanese architects Sanaa it's the office where I used to work also, not at this project, but I had a chance to visit the construction site a few times. This is the first courtyard. You can see this funny, it's not a circle shape, it's a small potato shape, you can say. It's a really signature of Sana architects. And then what is interesting above the shopping wall, mall, you can see the housing. This is actually social housing which were added to the program and they're the balconies so they can look down to us. <laughs> actually in the building they have a two courtyards with a little garden and so you have this open space, the daylight coming in and the thin structure about the staircases which is also signature of uh, architects. Actually, up there, there is a little kindergarten. So you open the shutters and there is just an open, um, like a open floor for the kids to play because social housing has to have a place for kids. So it's a very unusual typology of the building to have it up there. We're actually working from the new building on Rivoli side through this passage to our uh, Nouveau building, the old original one. And there you can see the classical um, Tokyo facade, a uh, really flat glass. It's really like in Tokyo. It's a nice quarter because we're going to the renovated building and this is how they restore all the paintings on site. They look quite fresh and new now. interior in Art Nouveau style, it was very honest and very on fashion in this time. So you have to imagine it was not the luxury products mag uh, shop. You could really buy anything, starting from the bolts and nuts, everything for your house, even the Lambo. So it was a real department store at that time. The building was closed for 16 years and just opened recently. All the renovation and reconstruction was going on to make the building contemporary. I mean, responding to the fire regulation, security regulation. So Paris was long time awaiting the reopening. So this is a newly built part of Samaritan complex made by Japanese architect Sanaa. And this is the rare example of a contemporary facade in a very historical center of Paris. So you can see this glass wave which reflects the buildings in front. It's very revolutionary, you can say, for the historical center. It took very long time to approve the project. As I already said, uh, said it's 16 years of construction. 
But now you can see this totally modern look, the main entrance to the shopping mall of uh, Samaritan.